Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking a look at another amazing creation from the Steam Workshop. Now, back in the day, I used to do a little segment called um, Small Ships Gone Wild, and it was basically when a small ship kind of became the size or the category of a large ship in Space Engineers, and that's exactly what this is now we don't see this as much anymore because you can achieve a great level of detail with the larger blocks now but back in the day this was one of the ways that you could get a lot of detail within a small ship and really build a cool interior as well so this is a cargo ship and it goes by the name as you can see there is the proxima heavy cargo ship so let's have a look around this cool craft so the first thing you'll notice is it's got this very slender looking design it's also got wheeled landing gears on the bottom so starting at the front you can also see we We've got the cockpit there full of consoles, displays, and two seats looking out from this glass canopy. Wrapping around the side, we have ourselves some auto cannons, and down here it looks like it is a combination of both an ion and hydrogen by the looks of it, focusing heavily on the hydrogen aspect. And that's what you need for a, a hauler, because when you're coming into land, you need a little bit extra power especially when under load. Coming around the side, we've got ourselves a little door as well as a window in that section. And then wrapping it into this zone, we've got these cool little fans. We are using one modification to load this world up and it is the ultimate small ship pack. So it converts some of the larger blocks to small ships. So things like this can be created. As we come around the back, we have the rear loading ramp as well as the thruster cells either side. So really, really cool indeed. Really nice detailing on the outside. I really like these little vents that are using the atmospheric thrusters on the inside there. And then the contrast between the orange and the grey around the top. It does have quite a few weapons. That's quite cool. It'd be interesting to see how a small ship of this size would actually fare in a fight. Because um, small ship armour can be quite fragile. Coming underneath, you can see we've got the landing gear wrapped around there. Very cool. I like these like reinforced areas with these tanks i'm guessing for something like the suspension gases or something well suspension gases that doesn't make much sense but i mean uh, this basically maybe some sort of hydraulic cylinder to allow the suspension to be lowered and raised i'm just guessing that it looks cool though whatever it is i mean it doesn't really do anything does it it's just a metal tube but very cool coming around the front we've got the wheels you can see they're wrapped in with a little bit of a housing there very very nice indeed so we're actually going to start by having a look at some of these little buttons that are around the ship and see exactly what they do. So this is the front elevator. Look at that. You'll also have to just enjoy the lighting of this ship as well as we go around. So this front little elevator is capable, of course, of having a rover inside here. And as we press that, you can see that little ramp raises up. Look at that lighting. I love it how it casts its shadow into this area. And then over here, we have the front elevator raise up and down. There's a little doorway that we can get inside from. So we won't go in there just yet. We'll have a look around and show you some further buttons. So little details like that. They're not great survival. They cause a lot of clang. But for a, a, a one-off piece like this, that's just full of detail. They're great fun to build. And when I first got into Space Engineers, I loved building little contraptions like this. So coming to the back here, you'll notice we've got this large cargo door. And if we hit that, it will lower the ramp down. So this is quite a large cargo area. You can kind of see the scale of it next to us here. Let's just place a block over here if we can, just to get a scale. Yes, so so this is, is small ship. You see by the scale of it, it's, it's almost a bit of like a an illusion. It feels bigger than it actually is. Very, very cool indeed. Now up here, there's also a secondary cargo ramp. So... Let's have a look. So that is the top ladder. That is the cargo ramp. My translation ain't that good. I'm just getting that ramp up and down. That's ramp doors. So this is a cool other feature. So the doors open like this. And then from the ceiling, shoots down this little staircase like so. And then that extends out. How cool is that? That is a fun little feature right there, so you don't have to use the giant ramp. Let's get a little bit of lighting on that. And that all hooks up there so the player can walk in and out the back of the ship. Like, it just fits together so well. It's a lovely idea, that. So let's uh, bring that back up. So you don't want to hit the door in the wrong order. There we go. Fold that back out. Is it going to be able to raise up or is it stuck? Let's give it a little bit of a wiggle. 
It'll be set on time as this, and I know I'll probably break it. Ooh, let's just hit the door anyway. Oh, so oh, so it doesn't it doesn't actually close if that door's blocked. Yeah, there we go. So we just need to give it a little bit of a wiggle. And then it retracts into the hole. Close them doors up behind it. Very, very cool indeed. We've got also searchlights and other bits around the back there that I quite like. So this is the cargo sort of hold. You can see we've got lights to the top there, creating this really nice dark. It's almost like being on a Star Citizen ship with this sort of uh, ambient lighting, you could say. We've got the windows up at the top there so you can see out what's going on. And then you've got the cargo storage area where you could put car containers, whatever you need for the mission, really. Coming to the front, we have got some more button panels. So we have the hangar lights that we can turn on and off. Simple like that. We also have the hangar motion lights. Do these track the player moving? Or they do probably track things that are moving inside. And then we've got the... Oh, we've got the ladder at the back as well, so let's... Turn that off, turn that off, and we'll continue exploring. So we're now moving into the interior. We've got a little suit bay here, complete with this little window table that I quite like. You can kind of pass things through. So it's not like a, a proper airlock, but or even like an armory, perhaps. So coming into here, you can just see how vast this ship is. So we'll go through left, and this leads us out to the airlock. So we are pressurized in there as well. Very, very cool indeed. Let's head back out. Double airlock seal up behind us. Vents are venturing, creating atmosphere. So around the side, it looks like some sort of little command seat. I like the idea of this little desk area. You can look out the window. So heading on through here, we'll turn our helmet off again so we can get an idea of what the ambient lighting is like. And across on the other side, I'm guessing there's going to be something very similar. Yes, there is. What's this? Airlock back. And then we've got staircases that lead us up. We'll have a look around that. We've got little rooms with this. Oh, this is a really ambient bunk room. Very, very nice. What's this? Oh, so that's a light for the room as well. And you could, of course, store weapons or other equipment that the players might need. I find that giving players a bunk on your ship, it kind of gives them like a little bit of sense of a, a belonging and a location rather than just floating around between med bays. So in here is the reactor. Look at that. Got these lovely LCD panels. Casting the light down these reactor tubes in the center. Oh, very, very cool. We've got reactor control there. We've got a meltdown. All the lights be flashing. Oh, a bit of, a bit of role play on these things. Great fun. Uh, but let's continue around the back. What have we got going on down these side passages? So we've got like a little bit of a mess hall here. Really lightweight one. So a kitchen for the crew and a seating area with a plushie on a shelf. I like that. It's kind of off to the side. It's it's not taking up a giant area of the ship, but it's very functional in when it comes to space. And it's something you can do with the smaller ship interiors. So that is airlock front. This is bathroom. Hmm. Okay, quite a small little bathroom to the side with a shower. And let's go into here. So we've got this upper way, a sort of. Uh, oh, what's this? I'd like a little, little view of the reactors down below. The catwalk leading up to there. I'm not too sure what this area is. Is this like a cryopod storage, or is this access to the cargo containers along the top? A little seating area through there, though. Coming into here. A lovely layout though. It's so compact, but you can navigate without getting stuck on the different sections. Like a little idea for steps there as well. So I'm guessing one of these is going to lead up to a bridge. This is just going to lead to a cryo room. Very nice. Lovely interiors in here. See all that door up behind us. And what's down this side? So that's just the cabins that we saw before. Coming into here, this says airlock front. So we've got another little front airlock and that's going to lead us into that lift area that we saw before that raises up and down. So we'll seal that up and we can breathe some nice fine oxygen as we travel into this area. So that is going to bridge. That is going to the airlock front. Let's have a look at the bridge itself. Oh, look at this. They've used these little panels to create like this structure around this holographic deck. I really like the look at that. Some plants on the bridge here, either side. A nice compact but easily navigatable by the player because I find that sometimes when players build compact bridges, I mean it's not super compact, but you get stuck on it with the character but you can easily access all these things. It's not the best view, your, your face is slammed into an LCD but if you're piloting from third person that's going to be fair. Oh maybe these are weapon stations in fact. Yeah these look like weapon stations, these look like the piloting seats. So if you were controlling the weapons it wouldn't matter if it was right in front of your face. So we've got some weapons on this one. So they are the auto cannons that we saw on either side. 
Is there a particular pilot seat? Let's have a look. Okay, well, let's have a look around these cameras. So these are different aiming cameras to the front, the rear, and back. Let's have a look at these. So that's front and side. And let's see what setups of controls. So these just have turret controls, so players can grab controls and shoot down incoming ships. Let's see how this thing maneuvers. Be interesting to have a look at. So this is not the main cockpit. Let's try that one. This is not the main cockpit. Let's try this one. There we go. Give it a little bit of thrust. Let's have a look at its acceleration. So good acceleration for a ship of this size. Let's give it a bit of a movement and see how well them hangar doors and other bits have been locked into location as we move. They seem to be holding quite well. It seems to be really quite manoeuvrable for a cargo ship. Probably because it's not loaded up just yet. And it's got its full thrust helping it manoeuvre around. But this is just a, a beautiful craft. Really nice indeed. It's, it's almost like a, a bit of a sports car look to it. Yeah, very smooth. A few different colour combinations. We've gone with the, the stock grey and orange. I'm sure you could change this up, go red, green, or whatever faction colour you'd like. But a lovely example of a small ship gone wild, and I really hope to see some more of these ships in the future hit the workshop. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you want to check this out, there'll be a link to this ship in the description below, and I will see you next time.